In this week's video, we roll back to my two week road trip across Italy in December 2021. We're looking at capturing multiple shots to blend together in post with moving water and windswept trees in the location, which is a sunken church in Tuscany. And this video, by the way, was supposed to be uploaded last week, so apologies for that. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is James Kerwin, and this is me. I'm an architecture and interior photographer from the UK, and I love shooting abandoned places, relics, ruins, hidden gems, and ghost towns, as well as off the beaten path locations all around the world. I'm posting new videos every Sunday, so why don't you join me for the ride by subscribing. You can also check out my website in the description below. Okay, so I arrived in this location around about 25 minutes ago. By the way, do you like the state of my coat and my hands? Do you see my hands, by the way? See this? See, can you see? <laughs> I don't know if you can quite see this. Yeah, disgusting. Me and the bramble bushes got like a little bit of a love affair going on. We had a nice time. No, we didn't have a nice time. We had four, four hours, three hours getting in, trying to get into a location and an hour trying to leave it. Uh, absolute nightmare. Anyway, <laughs> we're at this church in the centre of Italy and uh, it's amazing really. It's a ruins. Uh, there's not really any colours but there is this kind of, there is still structure left which is pretty nice, pretty unique. We are basically trying to capture some shots. I had to wait for the sun. Originally when I first set up my shots, everything was kind of like positioned so that the sun was coming straight through that middle window you see at the top there and it didn't work very well. I, could, I tried to do some starbursts but they never quite work that well in these kind of locations because there was a glare on the water uh, with the lenses I was using, the choice of lenses I was using. Uh, it was too wide and I couldn't use any filters on my Tilt Shift 17. So bearing in mind here, we've got a lot of height and we've got the water down below. So it's both features we're trying to get in. I've done some angled shots already and I'll pop them on the screen down on this side. And they're kind of okay, they're interesting uh, with the light, with the, with the little spotlight that you'll see coming in. But what I'm actually then trying to do is I'm trying to just capture the main straight on shot. It's gonna be quite a quick video this week. I'll show you some uh, B-roll of the location hopefully as well. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully it's a nice video and ties in really good with everything else that we're doing in Italy this week. Well, I say this week, it's a kind of total of 12 days and I've already done well over a thousand kilometers. So it's a quite a busy one. Okay, so first of all, I'm using my Canon uh, adapter to make my tilt shift lenses work with my Canon R5. So that's what I've got going on here. Excuse the uh, focus. I'm using 4K in my Canon M50, and to be honest with you, the autofocus is then terrible. Look at my hands, awful. Anyway, so yeah, there, there's the uh, there's the adapter. I'm going to stick that on the front of my R5, which is currently just sat right here. So first things first, put my camera on. Um, I've put my level on. Can you see that? That's my level. I've put that on. So to get that up, I've, I've actually set it in camera to use the info button. I've got my level on there so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm using this part of my, this handle on my geared head. So this is the Sunway Photo GH Pro 2. I'm gonna do a review on this in a couple of weeks time. But this I'm just using to sort of level up the camera. I don't know if you can see that. It moves, it's doing the tilt up and down. See that? I should be able to see it if I just focus there, yep. See that there, it's just focusing on bringing the level up and down. So I'm just checking the level and making sure it's nice and straight because that's our basis to go off. Should be cool. Okay, so there's three parts, four parts really to this photo that I'm gonna be doing. First of all, it's a pano, top, middle and bottom, okay? And it's in three layers. Really, it's gonna be in four layers because we're gonna we'll focus on the building first of all, then the middle section, and then the near foreground. They're all very different parts of the frame, so I'm gonna to need to focus on all of them to get it all in focus. And then finally, I'm gonna to need to boost my, my f-stop right high to get the water a little bit a little bit blurry, maybe like half a second, a second to get it a little bit smoother. That's my aim here. So it's a multiple layers. I'm gonna stick it into post afterwards and show you quickly what I've done. Uh, hopefully it helps some people out. But anyway, 
let's get this first shot. So for easy one, five brackets is what I've put on first of all, using the, you know, using those in camera ones. So nice and set, I've got the two second timer on. I'm literally just gonna, I'm, I'm pulling my middle exposure, one stop under zero. So F8, nice and simple, ISO 100. And I'm gonna shoot that, that's easy, 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 easy. And that's done. Right, then I'm, what I'm gonna do then is just unlock my tilt shift lens. I'm gonna roll this to the top, all the way up there. That's just about framed nicely. I'm gonna refocus on the window at the back. And then when I did that, the, the, the leaves nearby, these leaves that are just nearby here, whoo, there, <laughs> they, uh, they're all out of focus. So that's exactly why I'm doing this. Again, I'm not moving my exposure settings, don't need to. F8, focus on the top section. That's the building nailed. Easy then, I'm gonna roll it right to the bottom. I'm still gonna keep the building in focus here. And that's gonna be on the top of my frame, if you look. I'm now down here, can you see that? Yeah, see on here, that's the remaining part of my building, which is now right up the top. You can see that there. So that's where I am. I'm gonna focus on that. And that's pretty much done. So nail that one, press shoot there. So that's now the building covered, basically. Now I'm going to focus on the midsection. So I've already got the bottom one lined up. So what I'm going to do here is another photo. But now I'm going to focus on something in the midsection. And for me, the mid so the middle section is this section here with all of this foliage. So I'm going to redo that in the back of the camera. The other thing that I need to be a little bit careful of is there is moving leaves as well. So it's even, on top of that, it's even more confusing. But I think it should, I should get away with it because they're very, very softly blowing. So I've just rolled that one out. That's the middle. Yeah, that's kind of the way I'm doing things. So again, and then I'm in the middle section here and there is out of focus parts, quite a lot actually. Uh, the middle section is now spot on. Again, same thing. I'm gonna nail that as a little bit of breeze. It's pretty cold by the way, my hands are frozen. My... <laughs> I was told Benjamin button hands is what they look like with all these scars on them. So, you know, that's that. Move the lens to the uh, top now. Again, I'm focusing on the middle section. So there is leaves in the middle, kind of, there is some in the foreground, but there's also some in the middle, which is the main concern for this particular shot. So press that shoot button again. Finally, I'm already up the top, so I'm gonna do the near stuff. Now that's easy, that's on the other side, right in front of me here. Let me just refocus this. If you look here, that's the near stuff, right there in the frame. So I'm just gonna quickly refocus on that. Just gonna refocus, that's actually quite a difficult one. And we have it, so press the button. That's the, that's the near stuff now. If you look on the back of the camera, on if I press play, look, it's looking a lot sharper, a lot neater, a lot tidier. The background obviously isn't, and because there is a distance there now, we're quite near the lens. So I'm rolling it back to the middle. So now my focus is gonna be the near section for the middle frame, which is just here. There's a huge difference in what we're, what we're looking at. Okay, so I'm now on the final section, which is just basically the bottom here and focusing on the rocks that are down by my foreground. So I can then refocus down, down in the foreground, which is what I've just basically done. That's sorted, back, put it back to 20th of a second from a middle shot. That's the final one. The one I've just taken, that's done. Nice and easy, so the final thing now, I'm gonna move it back to the middle, okay, the lens. So I'm lifting it using this one here and I've lifted the lens up. I've pulled it up to a central sort of position where I think that's everything that's gonna work. And I'm gonna then use the, uh, the other side, lock the lens using the little lever here. Just locking that in and that's done. Then, finally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on just one bracket now, okay? One bracket, one stop under zero, so you know, minus one on the exposure. I'm then gonna change my f-stop to f22, bit mental, I know, but I haven't got any filters. Bring my exposure up to one under. To be honest, it won't probably matter because it's, it's in the distance, there's a little bit of glare. And I, and I think it doesn't matter that there's a bit of sun out there, there's not really a problem. So what that brick gives me is 0.8 of a second. 
and ISO 100. So I'm going to, I can actually probably go a little bit darker, two stops on that one. Then what I've got to do though is change my exposure, uh, my focus again onto the water, of course. And then we have it. And then what I'm going to do is just shoot that. F22 should be nice and blurry. Yeah, we're pretty good. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. So that's my water. You see how the blur on there, it's not too bad. It's, there's a little bit of glare at the back. I could actually now just put on a polarizer filter onto the front of this, because it is, this tilt shift lens has the ability to have a filter. So I'm just gonna stick that on, I think, and just get another one, just to see if I can eliminate a little bit of that glare. And then I think I'm there. So that's that really. When I've put that on, of course, my exposure's changed because my shutter speed is now going to be a bit slower. I can actually get a second and a third, so a second and a third on my exposure. I'm going to try that because I think that might be pretty nice because it's a little bit darker, obviously, the polarizer filter. I'm just going to zoom in on that again. I'm just going to double check this. And to be honest with you, I can probably drop it a little bit more. The glare is nicer, way nicer. Okay, so I'm going down to minus two on the exposure bar now. Still F22, ISO 100, just on the water, shooting it. One second, just gonna check that now. Zoom on in, oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Still fairly new, this camera to me. <laughs> so I keep pressing buttons slightly wrong. I've, I've been trying to learn it like constantly, you know, like you should. Okay, it's a tiny little bit of glare left in the bottom right hand corner, but I'm never gonna eliminate that because that's the direction the sun's coming in. So I'm pretty happy overall. I'm pretty happy with that. I think um, I'm going to blend that together in post. I'm going to leave the location because I've got a busy day. I'm going to crack on. I hope that's been a nice video for you. It's funny, isn't it? I went to all that effort back before Christmas, but come August 2022, editing this video and these images, albeit in a hurry, and I prefer the light bursts and the shots that are at the start of this video. Perhaps I should have ended the video right there and then. Light, it's always about light. This is the entrance, by the way, to get in and out. Pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. Anyway, I'm pretty much finished. That's me for today. Quick one, I know. I uh, hope you're enjoying the kind of content. I'm trying to get more and more of it up. Uh, lots of stuff coming up on the channel. Uh, reviews on my geared head. It's just kind of an interesting one that I want to talk about. I've been going on about that, like I said a minute ago, for a few weeks. I've also got to talk about the R5 a little bit more. I'm getting much more to grips with it now, and that's kind of nice. Um, I've also been using this new bag, this new Shimoda bag, which I want to talk about. Uh, as well at some point because um, I'm getting some real use out of it and I'm really liking it, especially for airports, so that's quite cool. Um, the other thing as well is, well, I'm done for today. <laughs> that's it. So that's pretty much me, like I say. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you have. I hope you enjoyed the tips that I gave you back in that church. Um, please do leave a comment below if you've got anything to say. Uh, if you want to check out other videos on the channel, of course, they'll be all in the descriptions afterwards and the links below for some certain tutorial type videos. Please do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. You'll be alerted next time I upload a video from here in Italy. That's all for now. Bye-bye until next time. See you soon.